belt. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Writing tickets for seatbelt enforcement becomes tougher for officers. Good evening. I'm Nicole Kahn. Thanks for joining us this Memorial Day. As we remember the war dead, police also ask we take time to remember to buckle up. And since more and more motorists are following the law, officers find it more difficult to write out tickets. Lafayette Police Officer Tim Bonner spent Memorial Day doing seatbelt enforcement. He didn't have a seatbelt on. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I just stopped it. Get some lunch. Okay, no problem. Um, can I see your driver's license registration, please? Bonner says most drivers aren't too upset about getting a $25 ticket for being unbuckled. Most of them actually are okay with it because because of the fact that it is a, a lower fine than, say, speeding or running a red light. But it's getting harder to write tickets for lack of a seatbelt. That's good news for Bonner, who believes that drivers are getting the message that you must buckle up before you drive off. It is so much more difficult than it was. It's hard to find them. A seatbelt stop can be more than a small inconvenience for unsecured drivers. Can you run a VIN for me, see if you can get it to come back? This man had his truck impounded because of an improper registration the seatbelt check uncovered. Hello, $145, 25 for not being buckled, and another 120 for not having the proper plates or registration for his truck. Bonner says it's routine to find other violations during seatbelt enforcement. It's actually a little, a little more common than you would think. Some drivers are also not aware they need to be restrained. Where's your seatbelt? You're right. <laughs> You're right. The law allowing pickup truck drivers to remain unbuckled changed almost two years ago. Now, I was still under the assumption that we were still okay if we were in a pickup, I guess. Nope. Nope. Since uh, July of 07, you just like everybody else now. Driver Ken Robinson says the stop was a good reminder to click it so he won't get a ticket in the future. If I'm on the highway, I really do. If I'm in town, I have a tendency to, to not wear it, but uh, I guess that's not always a good thing. He didn't have to be asked twice to be safe. The first thing I'm going to do is put this on. But let me demonstrate. Bonner says once every driver is belted, then he can take Memorial Day off like many others.